Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Saturday series. So we're following, well, well we're still going up along with, uh, sorry, Marble Brewery uh, from Manchester. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about Marble Brewery, I've done a little short modern Monday video for Marble. So go and check that out, a little bit of uh, the background. Um, but yeah, so next beer for them, for me, is Alf and it's a hazy pale coming in at 5.4%. Looking forward to this, really am. Um, and don't think I've had, I don't think I've had ALF, I've had QBO damage. Oh I have, I've had ALF on the cask. Yes, in the Chiverton tap in Chidlium, and I enjoyed it there, but I've not had it in a can. So let's get it out of the can. Let's see what it looks like. Get the aroma. And most importantly, let's get the taste. So is it going to pour hazy? Let's see what we've got here. There we go. It's pouring really nice out. It's got a nice white head on it. It's slightly hazy. Getting the aromas here already. Bit of pininess going on there. A little bit of, you know, some fruit coming through. But there's a beer in glass. What is it then? 5.4%. I think I've already said that. So there you go. That's a beer in a glass. Nice, hazy, pale, like it says on the can. Aroma. Yeah, it smells like it's a Simcoe type. A little bit of grapefruit, sweetness, tropical, mango, and orange. Lots of uh, fruit aromas going on there. It's like a sweet malt backbone as well in the aroma. Smells, it, just, it, it smells really inviting, if I'm being honest. It's got a really inviting aroma to it. So let's taste it, let's get in. Cheers. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Simcoe in that, honestly. There's a nice sweetness. And it's backed up with these, like a, like a passion fruit. And an orange and a slight bitterness, not overly bitter, but a nice balanced bitterness to that sweet malt backbone. Carbonation, perfect, not overly carbonated, not under carbonated. It's really good. It's it's medium, medium mouthfeel, I'd say. The aroma to me, it's, it's just full on. Tropical, tropical, and then you're getting the orange as well. But there's that sweetness, that sweetness is hanging around in the aroma. You're getting a little bit from their malts, you're getting a bit like a sweet caramel as well. And then you get that, like I said, that bitterness, and that bitterness is hanging around, so you got a bit of a piffy bitterness going on there. That is that is a bee's knees, that's a lovely beer. 5.4% hazy pale. I'm enjoying that. I'd enjoy a few of them if I'm totally honest with you. So let's see if it says anything at all on the can. So we've got marble. Manchester Marble Brewery, Alf, Hazy Pale, five, alcohol 5.4%. 5 Lots of jargon on there, oh, different languages, ingredients. First brewed in collaboration with our friends at Amundsen Brewery, Oslo. Alf is a contemporary pale ale. Estuary yeast assenuates this dome fruit and tropical fruit character bought by a heavy dry hop of Mosaic, Enigma and Sultana. Whilst a protein heavy grist gives a full pillowy body, pour slowly to leave any sediment in the can. So there's no Simcoe in there. Um, I've never had Sultana's new to me. New, totally new. Uh, Mosaic, yeah, that's probably where I'm getting like the, the tropical from Enigma is Australian hop. Um, I think that possibly that would be backing up that Mosaic as well. But Sultana is the one that's new to me. Well, you know, when I'm tasting that, I thought, 
Simcoe seems to be coming through because Simcoe is probably my my favourite hop from uh, the US. I really do, and that was having so many vibes of a Simcoe hop. Uh, but it's not in here. It's not in here. So there you go. Uh, that mosaic must be showing characteristics of the Simcoe. Look, that's why I like Simcoe though. It's so unique. It really is. But what I was saying about that sweet caramel. That's what they're saying here about the stone for a tropical character brought by a heavy dry hop on mosaic. A protein heavy grist. So you're getting that as well. You're definitely getting that grist, them grains. That is absolutely superb. It really is. Uh, it just says Marble Beers Limited, www.marblebeers.com. Uh, 500 ml can. And yeah, that's Alf. That's the Hazy Pale from Marble Brews. And I'm going to go and sit and enjoy that now because that is a very good Hazy Pale. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one. And I've got glasses on, and I can't see you. Okay, cheers. Growing up in basements, online, a whole new generation. I'ma make mine, so you better go take.